All right, I wanted to go over a uh, chess problem from LeeChess.org real quick. I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, problem um, because of the economy of position involved. It looks pretty uh, simple um, and straightforward, so go ahead and pause the video if you want to give it a shot. All right, so there's two key patterns to recognize um, when solving this problem. It's a, it's a 2300 rated problem, but the, the two patterns jumped right out at me, so I, I was pretty satisfied that I, I solved it relatively quickly. The, the first um, thing to, to recognize is this knight is uh, kind of vulnerable. It uh, doesn't it's running out of squares if you, if you if you notice he can't come here he can't come here he can't come here none of these are very good and it can't come here so it's only safe square if it were attacked by a pawn say pawn here would be this square however that's not a safe square either and this is a common pattern to uh, recognize that knights on their uh, fourth rank, their own fourth rank, and the second file are generally vulnerable on these two squares because if the pawns haven't moved it doesn't have a way to uh, retreat. So it's a it's a pretty common uh, peace trapping idea that you should keep in mind. In this position uh, it, 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 it's important to recognize that this pawn has also been moved so that uh, is, is why this this square is not safe for the knight to retreat to. So once you recognize that, um, all you have to do is re uh, realize is I could just push this pawn and potentially trap the knight. But there's another pattern involved here. So white presumably just made this move because black placed a pawn here, either with a capture or a push or something like that. And white moved it there because he felt he was probably safe. And the reason he thought he was safe is because this pawn push um, generally fails because now you've weakened this diagonal. So all the queen would have to do is give check and then the normal response of just pushing this pawn will fail to knight takes pawn and then I cannot recapture with this pawn because the queen would then take the rook giving check. Um, it's, that's another very common pattern. So there's kind of a misconception in chess that uh, tactics is all brute force calculation, but in, in reality there's a ton of pattern recognition and memorization that is in incredibly useful. So knowing these two patterns so well helped me solve a, a, a relatively difficult problem very quickly. Um, so once you recognize these two patterns, um, the, the solution kind of presents itself. Another really important thing about this peace trap is that it only involves pawns. So there's no way for, for the opposing side to get tricky and say uh, exchange pieces or something like that. It's purely a pawn attacking peace trap. So that makes it uh, even more powerful of an idea. Um, but white's defense does involve a piece. So if I push the pawn, he's going to give check. So since he needs his queen to save his knight, um, and I don't need mine to trap his knight, then you, then you recognize that you should probably trade queens. As it so happens, there is a way to trade queens. Queen check. Um, so white wouldn't necessarily have to trade queens. He could uh, bring the king up. But uh, now he's uncastled, and he's going to lose a pawn, and it's just it's generally very bad for him. Um, and then the fact that this is blocked too, I'm probably going to win the knight anyway. So if I were to give check, his best option is to trade the queens and block it. Uh, so after we trade the queens the trap uh, snaps shut and the computer just makes this this pawn move but you can see the knight couldn't move here uh, because I would just push my pawn and then win the knight so 
recognizing those two patterns uh, very quickly helped me solve that problem um, and you can see here that it's a uh, relatively difficult problem so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and got something from it thanks for watching